The teenager accused of sending email threats to school administrators in Wyndham, shutting down school there for three days, appeared in court this afternoon. WMTW News 8's Jim Keithley is live outside the courthouse in Portland with those details. Jim. Well, David, 16 year old uh, Justin Woodbury is charged with two counts of felony terrorizing. Um, one charge for each of the emails that he allegedly sent to the superintendent and a principal at RSU 14. Now, the teenager was whisked out of the courthouse and back to the Long Creek Youth Development Center, where he will remain until after the holidays, giving his parents time to hire a lawyer. Woodbury's father said his son attended Wyndham schools two years ago. He was most recently a junior at the Baxter Academy for Science and Technology. That's a charter school here in Portland. The prosecutor on this case wouldn't divulge the exact contents of the threatening emails, but said they were very serious. I think the police did the right thing. School did the right thing. They acted decisively on the threats that they had. Um, my office has prosecuted dozens of school bomb threats, and I can tell you that this one is qualitatively a little different than most of the bomb threats we've seen, so I, I do think that school and law enforcement acted appropriately. Now, Woodbury's parents were in court today, but they didn't want to do a camera interview with us, but John Woodbury told me over the phone earlier in the day, quote, my son is not violent. My son would never hurt any living thing. He made a mistake. Justin Woodbury, meanwhile, will remain at the Youth Center in South Portland until his next court appearance, which is set for January 8th. We're live in Portland tonight, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.